I'm James. Yo soy Ana. Ahoy! Three months ago, we started an epic adventure to sail around Cape Horn. I was a Navy navigator aboard a submarine and bought my first cruising catamaran after I got out. But after 45,000 miles, it broke in half. I feel comfortable leaving uh, the vessel behind over. But thanks to our amazing subscribers, we were able to kickstart a new boat and embark on our biggest adventure to date. <laughs> bringing some of our awesome backers and all of you along for the ride. I'm going crazy. But the biggest adventure of all was just beginning. Join us on Sailing Zingaro. made it to San Blas. It's beautiful here. Uh, the sun just rose. It's about 6.15. And uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty place. We're about to go through this cut. Okay, so this is where we're headed. In today's episode, we head back to San Blas with my buddy Chris and his girlfriend Amy. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I install our new Seawater Pro water maker. We go spear fishing, and I go on the hunt for a monster that has evaded me for months. And we survive a brutal attack of cuteness on the beach. Definitely the fastest sailboat on the road. Yeah? Yeah, it's just fast. We were doing eight and a half a minute ago. About eight and a half knots. Yeah. It feels like it. It's hard to walk around on this thing. <laughs> it's like, it's more of a climb or a crawl. You gotta get your sea legs, man. I watch you walk around here like, like you're walking around my living room. I live on the boat, bro. That's true, it's true, yeah. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. I almost hit a boat last night when we were coming, right right after we turned to come down into the sun blast. The guy didn't have any mast headlight on. Put your mast headlight on. Uh, I barely saw his running light just right, I mean, like, I have about 60 seconds. And he was... It was port. It was a starboard to starboard passage, which is really weird when you meet a boat like that. Usually, you, you do a port to port passage, but I think both of us were like, "Whoa!" And I have my uh, my top light on, my masthead light on. We got time on our side. a state of home. I need you on my side. I want you to know. Alright, we got some fish. First, they need to be scaled. So that, that's why I brought him I brought him here. Because the scales fly. Thank you, Plucky, for this. This is the craw from Plucky. He gave that to me as a, as a Christmas present. That was a nice Christmas present. These ones work the best with the whole ripping out the guts thing. That just, just all comes out. And that's how to clean a fish, man. Lune. Oh, este es tu final fin de semana. Oh, necesitamos una fiesta. Este es the, the, that's the little puppy. Mi perrito, buena vista. Hola, hola. What's up, little buddy? That's the one I tried to buy for 200 bucks.
hard. She fell hard. Well done. She's not gonna make it. I got you, babe. I'll come to your rescue. Okay. There's Chris. Hey guys. There's the water maker. We're gonna make it happen now. Panel. That's what it's gonna look like. Looks pretty good. It's straight. Once we put some art up there, it will you feel cool? Oh, it'll look cool. Yeah. Put a frame around it. Yeah, put a frame around it. Make it look like a <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Modern art. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so first thing I do is I start the boost pump. Ne next thing I do is I start the main pump. But first, we're gonna go down here and make sure this thing is running. Yep, we're good to go. This thing is going. It barely makes any noise at all. That's awesome. You can see I, I put in a, uh, a uh, strainer and uh, so it comes out of the through hole, goes up to the strainer, goes through the strainer, goes around and goes into the boost pump and then goes in that blue line and that blue line comes all the way here and actually goes into the bottom of this. And it goes this way, goes into the 20 micron filter, the 5 micron filter goes through here and then goes into the pump. When it goes through the pump, then I control the high pressure, low pressure through this valve. That's just a restriction valve and that should make water. So let's see what happens. We're going to turn this on and we've got 5 psi and 0 psi for water. This is the high pressure side. This is the low pressure side. So that's great, we got, we got water. And uh, I've got flow. You can see flow right there. So you know it's coming through. Nothing's leaking anything so far. Now let's just go outside and make sure it's venting outside. This thing is going to have to run for about an hour to, to uh, clean out all the propylene glycol that was there for shipping. So, check it out. All right, that's that. Yep, it's working. It's not crazy obtrusive, but yeah. it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely uh, a motor running under your ass. <laughs> But you know what? To make water, it only has to, it only has to run like an hour a day, every other day, every three third day. So seriously, this is such a good gift. Thank you very much to Mike at Seawater Pro for the wonderful gift of water. Tasting good. All right, it's the last day. Con mis amigos, <laughs> yeah, uh, we're gonna go snorkeling and spearfishing. You guys ready? You've never snorkeled ever. I've not. Don't worry, she can teach you. <gasps> no, me. Yay! <laughs> I can teach you all that thing. <laughs> Salsa, cosi chica, cocina. Not no, snorkel. No, no. <laughs> it's, it's only a couple rules with snorkeling, okay? One, float. Two, breathe. Three, look. Really, really easy. Got it. Don't, if you, if you screw up one of those rules, you're gonna have a bad time. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for the input. Don't panic. Yeah, it's the first time with my Raimi custom spear gun. This is a beautiful gun. You guys are going to dig it. Peace! <laughs> Thank you.
This is the first fish I've ever shot with this gun. Oh, I can't wait to. Isn't that cool? Out. That's a that's a true story. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. I'm gonna um set this up here so we can pull this fish in because he's so heavy. I we could barely get it into the boat. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. He's a monster. This is Charlie. I've been chasing Charlie for, I think I got him on this side before, for about two months. And uh, I hit him before. I think usually you can see scars. Like this is a scar right here for when somebody hit him. I don't see where I hit him. I must have been here. Or here? Oh yeah, look at that. That's a scar. That's where I hit him before. Right there. And uh, that was about a month ago, and I've been trying to get them ever since, and now I finally do. That's a big fish. God, that is massive. That gun is awesome. It's so good. This is the first fish I've ever killed with it. That's amazing. The first day. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. That's the first day I've used it. So this is a black grouper, um, they're illegal to catch in Florida because people have outfished them, but here they're totally legal to catch. There's lots of them here. I see them all the time. I saw one that was like 200 pounds. Oof. That was like this half the size of this boat. But um, this will feed everybody in the Anchorage Plus. Looks like kind of a frog or something. Look how big his mouth is. So they eat like this, they just go and they suck in fish. It's cool to see what's in their stomachs. No. Ultra pescado y usualmente. It's a lot of guts. Lobster. <laughs> wow! I didn't even know these guys eat lobster. Wow. That is crazy. We should fry him up. What else is in there? Oh, we got a crab. Wow. Anything else? Good God! I didn't know they could eat that. Holy crap! Wow, he's a monster. Yeah. Big Holy shit! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have you ever seen that before? And it's and the still over here. Oh my god! Yeah, that's crazy. Wow! Mucha carne. It's like 15 pounds of fish, maybe 10, 15 pounds. So we're in Rio Asukar. This is this is the this is the cool spot that we get water filled up, and these guys are always here to help us out. Very much appreciated, guys. Muchas gracias for tu hospitalidad, tu ayuda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Otro día, James. Yeah, man. We'll do. Have fun, have fun, have a good time. This is Yori. He's always here to help us. Yeah, man. Cool. Muchas gracias por todo. What is up, my beautiful people? I just want to thank you guys for watching and thank the patrons for all the support. I am a very blessed person. And I'd like to give back to you guys. I'm going to do a webinar this Saturday at 3 p.m. Central Time about 
weather routing, weather, everything weather. How we pick weather windows, how the weather works, uh, how predict wind works, all the features and new features on that program. And uh, yeah, come join me if you can. And if you can't, I will record it and put it on my Patreon. So become a patron, you can watch it. Much love, see you next time.